So again, for this example, we're still working with the performance equation. We're just going to have a different number to put in. So again, our performance equation is 1 divided by execution time. So the execution time this time is 5 minutes. But I really need my 5 minutes to be in terms of seconds. So I'll need to convert that. And that would be and multiply that by so one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So I can apply this conversion. And in case you didn't already know, that gives me that result of 1 over 300 seconds. So it's not too much different from our first example. We've got a larger number. But the same actual number, just slightly different scale. So again, I can't finish a whole lot of this task in every second. I can finish fewer than I could with either of the previous examples. And it's telling us, that, well, this machine doesn't get terribly good performance on this task. But that's still likely to be relative. If we're comparing two computers, this number may be really good. It may be really bad. 